Welcome back, my favorite gamers and developers. Sorry, I've been away for a while, but now I have a new project. This is not going to be really be a coding tutorial, but more of a show and tell. If you're here for code, you might get something out of this, but there will not be a lot of live coding. However, I will be sharing my work, but there is a catch. I started this project last year, but I had to put it off due to school, work, and, well, you know, personal life. Then Rule Set Wizard came out, and I kind of got excited again. I finally picked up the Rule Set Wizard last couple of weeks and gave it a go. Rule Set Wizard is basically an IDE for Fantasy Grounds. It has saved me hours of development and basically makes the XML part a breeze. I am a C Sharp WPF developer by trade, and this IDE feels like I'm working in a Visual Studio's light. It's still in very early release, but it has almost everything a person needs. I can't wait to see what 1.0 looks like. Here you can see you start off with the properties window. You name your rule set or extension. If you want to add in a logo, you can add it in here. Choose the extension rule set. Uh, the description, author, website, enter your version number, any announcement text you wish to make. And this is the file of the pack or the extension that will be going into Fantasy Grounds. Once you're in here, you could simply create a window and size it to whatever you need. If you're changing up the character sheet, type in the character sheet main and it inherits that and then start adding away throw in a button throw in a dice field throw in a a label or a there you go label or a number field uh anything uh he has a great toolbox over here on the right that you can grab drag and drop it has each item on here has plenty of properties uh for you to mess with and it does, like I said, the XML part for you. So this is needed all this XML just to add these few buttons. So there you go. It's pretty quick, simple to use. So here's the catch. I will be sharing my work, but since this is an unofficial promotion for Rule Set Wizard, I will be sharing my RSW file, which is for Rule Set Wizard. If you want to crack it open, you're going to need to go get Rule Set Wizard. It's about 60 American dollars, but if you want to develop Fantasy Grounds, this thing is totally worth it. The project I'm working on is called Template Template, and what I'm building is a starting point for developers. I want to copy and paste this file and then re redesign it to be for whatever rule system I'm working on. My next project, I'm hoping to play Werewolf the Apocalypse. So a lot of things that I do in template template has that in mind, but for the most part, all of these pieces are going to be needed for any game I play. Most of the games that I play, I'm going to need to have XP. So I'm going to have, I'm going to want somewhere to store on the character sheet where I'm keeping the XP. I'm also going to probably want to change the party sheet. So as a storyteller or a GM, I could distribute the XP. Every game of course is going to have their own design for character sheet, depending on what it is that we're playing. The character sheet will need to interact with both the party sheet and the combat tracker in some way. I'm going to want some fields to the NPC sheet. This obviously is not enough to run most games for full automation, but honestly, Core RPG was designed to be a very generic rule set, and it gives you the minimum amount of things that you need to run a successful game online. I'm going to want to create in here a way for the GM to click on attack actions. That way they don't have to open up every NPC sheet to make every action. I'm also going to want to create some new containers over here. Uh, I have an idea for a link container, and that way we can link to external sources like web pages or uh, even local links on your computer. I will also want to manipulate the modifier stack to be a little bit more to my liking. I do have some more plans and ideas, but after each item is developed, I will give you guys a show and tell of it and kind of talk to you about how I did it. So over the next few days, I will be releasing some videos showing each piece individually. And then I probably won't have updates every day because Honestly, designing some of these things takes longer than one day for me to develop, uh, especially because I only have about an hour or two at night and not every night to work on it. But I hope that after you see some of these things, it gets you excited about uh, Rule Set Wizard as much as I am and help the guy out. Uh, help make this thing a, a bigger development tool 
that we can all use to make uh, every game that we can think of to play in Fantasy Grounds. All right, until next time, keep gaming and keep developing.